The word of God is fulfilled. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel with the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel for December 26, 2020, according to St. Matthew. Now, after they had left, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, <clears throat> Get up, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, and remain there until I tell you. For Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. Then Joseph got up, took the child and his mother by night, and went to Egypt, and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet, Out of Egypt I have called my son. When Herod saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, he was infuriated, and he sent and killed all the children in and around Bethlehem, who were two years old or under, according to the time that he had learned from the wise men. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, wailing and loud lamentation. Raquel, weeping to her, for her children, she refused to be consoled, because they are no more. When Herod died, an angel of the Lord suddenly appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel, for those who were seeking the child's life are dead. Then Joseph got up, took the child in his, and his mother, and went to the land of Israel. When, when he heard that Archelaus was ruling over Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. And after being warned, warned in a dream, he went away to the district of Galilee. There he made his home in a town called Nazareth, so that what had been spoken through the prophet might be fulfilled. He will be called a Nazar Nazarian. Glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to thee. The word of God is fulfilled. No doubt. Whatever God wants is fulfilled, whether we want it or not. If we don't want it, what will happen is that we'll be left behind, that we will be left to rot in our own, even in hell, if we don't want to fulfill the will of God. But the will of God will fulfill itself. No doubt about it. The will of God is that every day there be a day and a night, and it happens. We see those that scorn God and how he hate him. Herod wants to kill the child, but he's unable to. Nevertheless, there are many lessons that we can have today from the Gospel, which are very interesting. Let us ask ourselves a few things and ponder them, and see whether that relates to your life or mine. We can start by saying, If God Almighty had the power to do whatever he wants, Why did he not stop Herod from trying to kill Jesus? Why did Jesus and the Virgin Mary and Joseph have to flee to a foreign land of Egypt? Why did they have to suffer like immigrants to be rejected there? Why? And a question that a famous writer, Albert Camus, wrote once, How can God Almighty suffer the loss of so many children? And he said that only when he saw a busload of school children die on the way, on the road. How can we, what can we say when we see the thousands of children that were sl uh, slain by this King Herod? Why did God allow that? We can also fall into the trap of uh, Jean Paul Sartre, where he says that it is now she aiding to be free because he is not able to accept the great charge and responsibility of being free because we truly are free. God tolerates our bad deeds. He doesn't want them, but he tolerates because he loves us and he wants us to be his children. And in order for us to love him back, we need to be free, absolutely free, really free, even if we kill each other. So let us not ask, why am I having so much trouble? Why this is happening to me? Let us rather ask, Lord, help me 
help me truly to do your will. And today I beg that you intercede before God, that I might truly become the doer of his will, that I may truly follow him step by step anywhere he might want me to be, and accept everything and be faithful. For the same I ask God of you, for you, for each one of you. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.